Hello, I welcome you to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create your cover page in Revit. And at the end of this video, you will learn how to create a cover page like this. And you can modify it to your own taste. Without wasting your time, let's get started. This is a title block we created in the last video and i'm going to start the cover page from this title block so what i'm going to do is i am going to save it as a different name save as family and i will give it a three metric cover page and on the option, I will allow the backup to be only one and click save. So I'm going to remove all these. I'll remove all these. I'll remove all these. I may leave my company the consultant details medium line medium line but i want it to be bigger a little bit more than what we have in the title block so i'm going to expand it manually Um, let me see if this test can be scaled. The test cannot be scaled. Okay, so I'm going to increase them a little bit. Let's say I increase this one to from what it is now, it is the text size is two. If I increase it to three and click apply, okay. Then for this, I'm going to increase it to something else. Let's say I increase it to five and click apply. Then for all this one, let me try and rearrange them. Let me move this one up and I can make it bigger. Okay, then this for this website, I can increase it. Maybe I increase it to to three and okay let me make it transparent so that it will not block others and click apply better and let me move it down a little bit to the right and here we go then i'm going to remove this one and remove this one remove all these okay i'm going to bring in a text and let me start from this same text acting consult and architectural architectural drawing let me move it to the center 
and I'm going to enlarge it, I'll select it, and duplicate it, and name it uh, as maybe architectural design, architectural drawing, or whatever. The name doesn't matter. What matters is the settings. Let's say I can use let me remain as area black then the text height what if i double it 10 and click let it be bold it's already bold area bold is already bold okay 10 is not bad and i'm going to bring another text text and select another one let's say i bring in project type 2 and i give it as project they can all be capital projects and it look tiny let me make it bigger let's say i duplicate it project 2 okay and let me increase the text size to something like 5 and click apply okay then i'm going to move this one and name this one as client then i'm going to copy that one holding on my control and drag then i name this one as location let me name this one as location and i'm going to copy the same thing and name this one as date name this one as date okay and depends on the style you want to give your your cover page that make your cover page unique in my own cover page i have something like this let me select uh let's say title block in my own cover page i have something like this i have something that look like um, you are opening it i created something like this to show that you are opening from that end like you are opening a book and in your own case you can decide to to add some effect to it i don't know the effects you want to add you can just be creative about it let's say i maybe by 10 okay then i can use extend multiple and clean all this then here i can remove this right that is that now your your cover page is already is already already and you can load it into your project 
now it's already loaded into this project i can escape all i need to do is to right click on sheet all let me delete what is here before and i will right click on it select new sheet then simply locate that cover you can see it here and click ok now a new page has been created and this is the cover so it's a question of typing the name of i can decide to edit and if i have a rendered 3d i can bring it in by selecting insert an image let's say i bring one of these render 3d and place it then i can make it smaller place it on top can make it bigger and here you can write the name of the client the name of the project if for instance i want to type I want to type propose residential development proposed residential development and can use arrow key to bring it down a little bit and let me move it out a little bit so that i'll be able to write the name of the client here let's say i want to write mr let me write this in small letter Mr. John D. I can move it here and location. I can write Badore Lagos State. and date i can write september 2022 And let me move this one closer so that it can be on the same line if i like i can duplicate this one project 3 and make it bigger and let's see i select area black area black and click ok 
is better i select this one select the same thing project 3 select the same thing 3 then select the same thing 3 and that is that now you are going to load it into your project if it is not staying well you can decide to bring in the date here depends on the the 3d and i can decide to bring the location here so that i have here free for my 3d and i can push this one up a little bit then move the client close to it i can now have my 3d centered and if i like i can increase the size i can move this up a little bit so you can play with it until you come up with something that is better for you so that's how you can create your cover page let me load it into the project override and that is it if i like i can re rename this page as cover page cover page and i always like to bring it to number one for me to bring it up i will name it as zero zero if I name it as 00, it is going to come up. And there you go. So this is my cover. And these are my title block. And I hope this video helps you. If it does, don't forget to give me feedback. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.